Hey, welcome back. Now the plan here is to prove an experiment. I want to take a battery operated train. This one here. There's the battery case there. And I want to make it run on track power. I picked up a bag of these pickups from eBay. They're Hornby. That was five pounds for the whole bag. I'm not sure how many. There's loads in there. And they're brand new. So the first thing I need to do is put metal wheels in this because that's got plastic wheels in it. So here's an axle that I'll be using. It's uh, insulated so one wheel has this plastic grommet there to isolate this wheel from the axle and the other wheel is connected to the axle. So you have a, a, a positive and negative, a feed and return separately. I'll be trying two different techniques here. One will be to fit the pickups to the bogey itself. The second way is to simply wind some of the wire around the axle. So there'll be a wire on this axle and a wire on this axle. To make that work it's important that you have the isolated wheels switched with regards to each other. So the isolated wheel on this side here and then the isolated wheel on this side here. I'm going to run the pickup along this section here to pick up the wheel on the inside there. On both so what sides. I need to do is I'll remove this extra portion of the pickup, and I can do that right now with scissors. I'm going to leave some of this curve in there for flexibility. I'm just going to create an extra curve at the end. So there's there are all four pickups glued into place so now I've got those in place I need to work out the best place to run the wires so that they will go up and into the body without interfering too much with the articulation. You'll see I've soldered on the connections for this pickup bogey. There's one for each wheel. So there's the the bogey on the track got a controller there that's just so look as I turn that on on off on off okay have the LED there and then if I switch So this is the second bogey. You see the wires coming up and going off in that direction. Underneath we just have a left and a right. And that's just fed through there. And that's really simple, effective and uh, very little resistance. There's hardly any resistance uh, doing it that way and it works very well. So with this one I've put the pickups in there, four pickups, and this one simply winding the wire around the axle. 
Now they will go together to form a circuit with the motor at one end. I've proved the experiment, it works. It's not a hundred percent, still some jerkiness, but that seems to be more to do with the, the pressure of the wheels on the track. I'll uh, double check these wheels, maybe they need a, a, a polish up or something, not sure. Or some weight over the bogies. Now, you may have noticed that there was some millipup in there. That's now been painted black. I tacked these uh, pickups in with super glue and then I just soldered them together just to make sure there was a good connection between the two and then I put a block of milliput in there just to hold everything in really nice and strong and add some weight to the bogey itself. Now all these junction boxes are just to make life easy for me while I'm testing circuits. I mean for example there there's the resistor going into an LED and another one going that way. You know it's just easy to prove circuits. Make sure you've got everything in the right way around before you do the soldering. Now I can finish this properly, do the soldering and make some improvements. This one here the second bogey I mean that really is simple and that would be a great way to add uh, an extra light if you've got a, an end unit and you want to put a light in it or coach lighting you could do something like this you'd need uh, something extra to keep the lights on but getting it from the track into the train that's a really simple way to do it so I'll wrap this up um, I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. It's not a tutorial, it's just how I do it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. All the best.